All right, I'm going to make a quick video on backlash. I'm going to demonstrate it using the X axis. So right now I got an indicator set up against the carriage of the X axis. I have it set roughly on one on the little hand and zero on the large hand. And what I'm going to do is come over to my mock. I already got it on and I'm going to set my jog cycle to a hundred thousandths and I'm going to come down here and make sure my jog mode is on which it is jog ink so what it's going to do now is when I I got my hot uh, hot key uh, set up and down for my x and at uh, up and down for my x axis so when I use my up and down hot key it's going to jog my x axis one hundred thousandths in order to check to see if you have any backlash, you just set it up like so. So I got it at small hand at one and the large hand at zero. Now I'm going to jog it one hundred thousandths. Now if you notice it didn't go a hundred thousandths. It looks like I'm thirty two thousandths shy of a hundred thousandths. I'm going to go back goes back to zero so that tells me there's play in in the x-axis it looks like 32 thousandths nearly exactly so what I want to do to fix this is come over here to the mock software go to config go down to whoop, sorry config go down to backlash okay we're going to go to the x-axis, we're going to type in 0 .032 because that's how far we're out, 32 thousandths. We're going to go down here and click backlash enabled, okay, and we should be set. Make sure that you reset, okay. Now, come back over here, and I'm going to go ahead and set this to zero. Okay, now I'm going to travel a hundred thousandths. That's it, and look at the small hand, zero and one. I'm going to travel a hundred thousandths down. Okay, looks like we're at one thousandths off. So that's ninety-nine thousandths. I'm going to go back, hundred thousandths. So we're still one thousandths, uh, let's see, around one thousandths shy. So let's go one more. Big backlash and 33. Okay, set this to zero. I could have just went backwards before I configured, it would have been back on zero. Oh well, but we're gonna go down. Looks like one and a half. one and a half okay so what it is is I got this indicator set up on this top of this toolbox and if you notice when I push down on it so when, when it moved it was at one and then when I moved it back it went back to one so that tells me it's right on the money let's try it again it's just so hard here okay here we go Zero. Zero. A little bit off. But I guarantee it's just it's this. But that's how you fix it. Let's do it again. Zero. Zero. So that's how you fine tune your axis. That's how you calibrate it. So that's how you do your X. And then you come over here on the side, either side, and do your Z. Same way. 